Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Anthony. So I want to start off by saying welcome to all of my new subscribers. I know many of you are here because of the kind words that Josh over at Lot of Josh had to say. And I can't tell you how much I appreciate that. And I'm super glad to have you here. On the very, very slight off chance that you're not aware of who Lot of Josh is, make sure you check out his channel. It's full of awesome reselling content, so you'll definitely enjoy it. Okay, so I've always loved office tour type videos, eBay offices and Amazon offices and YouTube studios, stuff like that. I've been watching them for years. Um, Harry Tornado did one recently and it was great. I've kind of wanted to make one for a long time, but I didn't really think anyone would care about my workspace. Until last week, the thrifting lounge left a comment on one of my videos asking me to do just that. So I said, okay. So it's basically just a garage that I've kind of transformed into a workspace for my wife and myself. She does crafty stuff like custom t-shirts and custom tumblers. And of course I do the eBay, Amazon, YouTube stuff. So I thought I'd just take a few minutes to show you some of the more interesting things, some of the things I use on a daily basis, equipment, supplies, things like that. And I hope you enjoy it. <music> So first things first, we're going to switch over to this camera right here. It's just a Canon G7X Mark II. Quality is not as good, but it's easier to walk around with. So we'll do that right now. Okay, like I said, it's just a two car garage. Luckily it's attached, so we have a doorway from the house right here. And if you're hearing some annoying sounds right now, that's because behind that sheet are things like water heaters and furnaces and stuff like that. But I at least tried to hide it with a sheet, so it doesn't look as garagey. But here's a quick pan from the door. So walking around from the door, there's my watch printer right there, on top of a nice little table. And then there's a cabinet with a bunch of boxes that I just can't bring myself to get rid of. But inside this cabinet is a mess. Basically I just keep a bunch of blank media in there, some various cleaning supplies, some tools, and then a bunch of like little random chargers and stuff like that and that sits right next to a water softener very very garagey a couple of random things an old blue yeti microphone that doesn't quite work properly so i don't really use it that much there's a little heater because we are in a garage and it gets cold in the winter time but right now that's sitting on top of my shipping scale which is a dymo i think 150 pound scale and we have my guitar here is my cart full of amazon and ebay supplies I do have a video about this. It's very old, so it's not very good. It's just nice to keep all of my supplies in one space that I can roll around. Tools, cleaning supplies, stretch wrap, tape, zip ties, cleaners and towels, labels, things like that. But I just try to keep as much as I can on this cart, so I just know where everything's at at all times. And if I'm doing a shipment or something, I just roll it right over. Pretty handy dandy. So then I have this workbench right here that kind of sits behind me when I'm doing my videos. This is just a workbench that my brother built and then he upgraded and I thought it was pretty cool so he brought it over to me. And on top of that workbench is a 50 inch TV whose only purpose is to be hooked to this tiny little computer and it displayed a backdrop for my videos. So that was kind of stupid. Don't really use it anymore. So my plan is to pop that on Facebook Marketplace so I can better display my Monopoly collection. I do collect certain Monopoly games, even though I hate playing Monopoly. I would never play a game of Monopoly, but there's just something about a lot of the artwork that I just really enjoy. Also up here on the workbench, my wife and I are going to start hobbying with podcasting. So we have some equipment up here to get us started. There's a couple mic stands. There's a Zoom H6 recorder, which I'm pretty excited about. A few microphones. Those are some mic cables, some pop filters, things like that. There's Weezer. They are awesome. Some GoPro supplies. And I do enjoy artwork. And when I get this TV moved out of the way, I'll be able to display this wall a little bit better. Daniel Johnston, rest in peace. The Misfits, love them. There's my wife right there. Alright, so moving down, I have this little curtain right here. My brother and his wife made this for me for Christmas, and it was the perfect size to kind of hide some of the crap that I hide back here. A lot of light bulbs, some remotes, paper and labels, just general crap like that, so it's nice to keep all that hidden. But sitting next to that is a shelf where I keep all my bubble wrap and a lot of my USPS boxes, all the free stuff, and then there's a bunch more USPS supplies over there. And then, like every reseller, I have a mountain of old Amazon boxes. These tend to get donated to me. My mom gives me all hers. I should probably just break them down and make things 
a little nicer over there. But then looking at my desk setup here, I basically just have three different desks just kind of thrown together into sort of a master command. On this desk over here, there's some camera supplies. There's a Camlink 4K that my mom got me for Christmas so I can start live streaming. Those are coming soon, so thank you, mommy. And some tape, a thing of batteries. I like to keep some batteries handy. And I have this little shelf here with my MIDI keyboard and a little recorder. It's a little Alexa show. Some various Canon lenses. I'm kind of a Canon fanboy, if you can't tell. There's my Mavic Mini drone. I need to use that more, but it's winter time. So hopefully in the summer, that'll be a lot of fun to use. And then this is my iPad. This is actually where I edit all of my videos. I use a program called LumaFusion, which along with the Apple Pencil is my favorite interface that I've tried as far as video editing goes. And then there is my LaserJet printer. So moving over to my main desk is just a MacBook Air with a dongle coming out of it into a monitor. And then we have my main YouTube camera right here. It's just always set up on this Joby tripod on this little desk riser. It's a Canon M50, which I really like. I've had it about six months now, and I think it's a great camera. And I have a little Rode Video Micro plugged into it. So if you're looking to start a YouTube channel and you have a little cash to throw at it, that is definitely a camera that I would recommend. And then going back to live streaming, here's my microphone, which is the Samson G-Track Pro. Um, I've used it for a lot of other things. I really like the quality. It's super heavy duty, and I just really like it. Up on my desk, there's a couple remotes for lighting and the TV. Some hand sanitizer, of course. I always preach about hand sanitizer. An external hard drive, an Apple Watch, some speakers, Diet Coke. I'm not sponsored by Diet Coke, but I probably should be. And moving over to this side. I have another camera right here always set up. It's a Canon SL2, but this is the camera I use to do like my demonstration type stuff on this desk right here. It's just always set up and ready to go, so I really like the quality. It's, it's pretty similar to the M50 as far as quality goes. And plugged into that up on a stand is just a little Comica off-brand microphone. There's my batteries and my battery chargers and my go-to headphones. There's my GoPro always plugged in, ready to go. Down here in the corner, I have a JFJ Easy Pro for cleaning CDs and DVDs, stuff like that. I just keep all the supplies in there, all the, all the different buffing pads and the cleaners and everything. There's my little mascot that my wife got me, little frog skeleton. And there's my heat sealer that I use all the time. There's a TV back there on the desk. And bubble wrap. I have my bubble wrap actually on a curtain rod attached to these shelves right here. And it does a really good job. Just some little hooks that hold the curtain rod in. And the bubble wrap just turns freely, so it's pretty awesome. Some various hats, different headphones, just some go-to things. And then up here, more supplies. I keep all my poly bags for Amazon in these drawers. I try to separate the sizes out between different drawers. It's always nice to have your poly bags near your impulse sealer. Makes things a lot easier. White piece of wood here, that's just to keep the reflection off of the camera when I'm doing videos. It's just easy to move out of the way. No big deal. All right, so moving along, there's the door again. Here's just a couple cabinets that we keep some supplies in. Just some various cleaning supplies. Uh, Canon boxes. There's a big wall clock. A big mustache picture. This is the machine that my wife uses to make custom t-shirts. I think it's called a silhouette cameo or something like that so she cuts vinyl with this machine and then she irons them on with this big heat press right here i don't know how any of that works but she does a good job at it so it's pretty awesome and then her computer her setup right here the main thing that she's been working on lately are custom tumblers which she's really enjoying here's a couple in progress right here basically she just takes regular tumblers like yeti type tumblers obviously not yeti because that would be way too expensive and she just kind of turns them into little works of art her name is poxy mama on instagram if you want to check her out but here's a lot more of her supplies right here tons of glitter she's always buying glitter and then different epoxies there's there's a bunch of the tumblers for they're transformed but different supplies cups spray paint stuff like that there's her sewing machine and then there's a bunch of her vinyl sitting right over here. This is for the t-shirts mainly, but she actually does cut out vinyl for the tumblers too. Always a lot of vinyl, always a lot of glitter. There's the view from this way. I guess here's the view that you're more used to seeing right around there. Of course, a comfy chair is a must. I think I sat in every chair at Office Depot 
before I finally settled on this one. I wish I had a link because I highly recommend it, but I have no idea what it's called. Lastly, I have inventory shelving going all the way around the room. This is just plastic shelving that you buy at Walmart. I think they stand about six or six and a half feet tall and they're super heavy duty. And I think they're about 28 bucks a set, which is a crazy good deal for shelving in my opinion. And they're super easy to put together, but they are plastic. So I know some people prefer metal. My inventory system is lacking, but I've always just kind of been the guy that remembers where I put everything, knock on wood. So, so far so good. All right guys, so that was just a quick look around. Hopefully not too boring. If there was anything that you want to see more in depth, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best. If you have a couple extra seconds, it really helps out when you hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button down below and drop any other comments you may have down there too. But that's what I got for you today. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.